was him and he had two sisters. And they'd gone to Falconry Centre in... Oh, God, I can't remember. But it's just down from Liverpool a bit. Alright. Sort of out that way. That's where he came from. But it, it just so does him good to get him out all the time because yeah. you know he, he needs <laughs> he needs to keep the attitude he's got now, which is yeah, whatever. Yeah. You know that's just what you need. You're so <laughs> sure, are you? Well, he's just learned to stand on one leg. This is his. Oh, okay. That's his practice for today. Those, yeah. Those feet. Mm. Two days ago, he learned to climb. And that was just such fun to watch, it really was. Look at me, Jim. Jenny. How would you, would you expect him to be, you know, when he starts to fly? Uh, I would think by this time next week he'll be sending you a message saying, guess what it crashed into. Oh, right. <laughs> He's practising flapping. Right. A lot of, you know, sort of hold on tight and flapping like fury to try and get to where he wants to be. Yeah. Okay. And he can jump. <laughs> So presumably being called a Bengal eagle now, he's sort of originally from the Indian area. Indian, yeah, yeah. yeah. No, did they go for a walk? And they, they now call them Indian eagle owls, they've, they've reclassified a lot of right. owls and, and things. So. And here, I mean, when he's full grown here, does that compare with the sort of European eagle owl? Um, smaller, luckily. Right. I don't want something that size flying yeah. around my kitchen. But yeah, he'll be smaller and... Uh, Light, obviously. I, I think the colours on, on these guys are, are nice, especially from the, the strain he is, because he's light phased, so he'll have that very pale right. disc and pale front. Mm -hmm. How much does he eat each day? Well, at the moment, he's on maximum as much as he can fit in, so he's getting through six or seven chicks a day. Wow. <laughs> yeah, it's a lot. Is it?